Uh, good afternoon. Today's lesson is complex numbers. Uh, I want to review what is a complex number. If you notice, we have the square root of a value. So we're unable to get the square root of a negative number since it's going to give, an, give us an error, error. Now you can factor out a negative 1. And we know that the square root of negative 1 is defined as i. So this would be i square root of a. For example, we have the square root of negative 5, which is the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 5. And we know that the square root of negative 1 is i. So it's going to be i square root of 5. So that would be, <clears throat> i is an imaginary number, so the square root of negative 1 is i. Now you can write a complex number, which is a real number, and an imaginary number placed together. So you notice we have the real part, and then we have the imaginary part. So that is a complex number. Simplifying a number using i, how do we write the square root of negative 18 using an imaginary unit or using i? So we have the square root of negative 18. We're going to go ahead and find the factors of 18. So we know the square root of 18 is the same thing as saying 9 times 2 times negative 1. So we have the square root of 9 times the square root of 2 times the square root of negative 1. And we know by definition that i is equal to the square root of negative 1. And we know that 9 is a perfect number. In other words, 3 to the second power gives you 9. So this will be 3. Normally what follows is the imaginary number, which is i square root of 2. So the square root of negative 18 is equal to 3i square root of 2. Remember, complex numbers has a real and imaginary part. So in this case, it, is, it says, what is each sum or difference? Well, you're going to combine the reals. So it's 4 plus negative 4. So 4 plus negative 4 gives you 0. That's the real. The imaginary part is negative 3i plus 3i, which gives you 0. So this whole expression simplifies to 0. We're going to go ahead and do next example B. So go ahead and look at it first. So we have 5 minus 3i. And you notice that we have a negative, so we have to distribute the negative. So it's plus 2 minus 4i. Remember that a complex number has a real and an imaginary part. So you have 5 and 2, so you're going to add 5 and 2, so that gives you 7. And then the imaginary is negative 3i plus negative 4i, which gives you negative 7i. And it's usually accustomed to write the real first and then the imaginary. So now we're going to be multiplying complex numbers. So it says, what is the product of each, or what is each product? You have 3i, you're going to do the distributive property. 3i times negative 5, which gives you negative 15i. You're going to multiply 3i times 2i, which gives you 6i squared. And remember that if i is equal to the square root of negative 1, then i squared is equal to negative 1. Because the square root of negative 1 times the square root of negative 1 is negative 1. So we have negative 15i plus 6i squared. So 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. Remember I told you that the real part comes first. Minus 15i. Let's look at b and let's look at c. This almost looks like we're multiplying two binomials. And we're going to follow the same process. We're going to go ahead and use the FOIL method. So we have 4 times negative 1, which is negative 4. 4 times negative 2, which is negative 8i. And we're not done. We're going to use the FOIL method. So we have 3i times negative 1, which is negative 3i. And then we have 3i times negative 2i, which gives you negative 6i squared. 
So the next step is to simplify. So we're going to combine the ones that are alike. So we have negative 4 minus 8i minus 3i gives you negative 11i. And remember that i squared is equal to negative 1. So we have minus 6 times negative 1. So negative 6 times negative 1 gives you 6. So we have negative 4 minus 11i plus 6. And when we simplify this, we have 2 minus 11i. We're going to multiply negative 6 plus i times negative 6 times negative i. So negative 6 times negative 6 gives you 36. Because a negative times a negative gives you a positive. Negative 6 times negative i gives you positive 6i. i times negative 6 gives you negative 6i. And then i times i gives you minus, it's going to be negative, i squared. So we have 36. 6i minus 6i is 0. And then we know that i squared is negative 1, so it's minus a negative 1. So in this case, it's going to be 37. Dividing complex numbers, what is each quotient? Quotient is just another way of saying dividing. And you notice that we have 3i in the denominator. So it says multiply the numerator and denominator by the complex conjugate of the denominator. So in this case, if it's 3i, it's going to be negative 3i. And then the numerator, you multiply times negative 3i. So what they did here is they applied the distributive property. Negative 3i times 9 gives you negative 27i. Negative 3i times 12i gives you negative 36i squared. And then negative times negative is a negative times a positive is negative 9i squared. Replace the i squared with negative 1. And so we get 36 minus 27i over 9, and then you divide, and so what you get is 4 minus 3i. We're going to go ahead and do uh, problem B. We're going to have to multiply by the complex conjugate. So we're going to multiply by the complex conjugate, which is going to be 1 plus 4i, 1 plus 4i. So we're actually multiplying kind of like binomials. So we have 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 4i is 8i. Uh, 3i times 1 is 3i. And 3i times 4i is 12i squared. Divided by 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 4i is 4i. So 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 4 is 4i. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4i. And negative 4 times negative 4 is negative 16i squared. We're going to simplify. And so we have 2 plus 11i plus 12 times negative 1, since i squared is equal to negative 1. 1 plus negative 16 times negative 1. So I'm going to simplify. We have 12 times negative 1 is negative 12. So it's negative 10 plus 11i over 1 plus a negative times a negative is positive. So it's 17. So we have, when we divide these two complex numbers, it's going to be negative 10 plus 11i divided by 17.